Hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to another glorious episode of the Galaxy Famous Halcyon Approved. What the hell was that? <laughs> Galaxy Famous Halcyon Approved Jedi Talk, a Star Wars podcast. I'm your host, Brad Hughes. And today, ladies and gentlemen, boy, oh boy, the stars have aligned. The galaxy is still out there. And the full council is here. Right across from me, someone I consider a friend. The man, the myth, the legend, Evan Dibajay, Evan, what's going on? A Yadiga and Good Journey. Was that Chris from Pacific Rock, Pacific Rush, excuse me, playing that? You know, he's a big Metallica guy, as we found out this past weekend. We'll get to that. I'll, I'll throw it over to Tom for that. But our guys, Ben and Chris from Pacific Rush, were rocking out at Splitsville. We had to go see them, and we met a ton of other friends. Justin was there, Peter, Victoria, Anthony, and Mike. Awesome hanging out with you all this weekend. Awesome. And to my right... The Red Rocket himself, Tom Oakery. By the right of the council, by the will of the force, this is Metallica. Uh, see, I that was Led Zeppelin. I have no idea. You, you thought my song laugh. was Metallica? Hey, if it's not DJ Rex or Gaia, it's Metallica. Oh, I hate him that's so much. That's embarrassing. I hate him. <laughs> that's very embarrassing that you said that out loud. loud. When I went up to Ben to request some Metallica, that's what I saw. I'm like, this is for Tom. I don't know what it is, so yep. if you start playing Metallica, like motion to me so I know. And I was like, he's like, I got you, okay. Yeah. So that's what I reached out to Ben and just yeah. gave him a shout out. Be like, that's yeah, awesome. Being a new dad makes it tough for me to get out, but um, next yeah. time I'll try. And uh, oh yeah, he promised more. So promised yeah, that's more what he told Metallica me too. He's, he's get, like, he's like, we're gonna to look up, up more and practice more. Is what hey he Ben, I, Brad and I got no problem walking on stage with him playing some Metallica. I know, I know at least twenty songs off the top of my head. I know that I could bust out on bass. I can play the intro to Sandman. That like the insane. first, like the three or four the minutes, the th- first, like three or four minutes, sure. yeah, yeah, up to the like slower part where it like breaks down. Yeah, not, I'm not sorry, not Sandman. I'm talking uh, Master of Puppets. Jesus oh, Christ. oh, I was like, yeah, no, no, <laughs> for a second there, I'm puppets. like trying to think. So, it's still part Master, sure. I just, Master let's just go along with it. Let's yeah. just go along with what he says. So, guys, first time, we're, first time we're here together since the last show we did last show we did <laughs> yeah no yeah. but no we're not for here and we got some big things to talk about yeah i'm gonna let tom do this because this was kind of your your like mission so i'm gonna let you talk about well, it i appreciate that so yeah it was our mission and we had put it out in the in the waves there we all know that in nine days megacon orlando will be here in orlando in the state of good state of florida it's heating back up after a tiny little cold snap. And that Thank weekend God. in nine days, Brad and Evan, is going to be very heated. Because Jedi Talk, a Star Wars podcast, yours truly, will officially be hosting a panel entitled The Beauty of Batu: The Secrets and Details. The Hidden Secrets and Details of a Galaxy Far, Far Away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Far, far away. Thank you. And in room W310A, 245, February 2nd, 2024. Be there. Find your seat. Because it'll be it'll be sold out. This is Jedi talk we're talking mm. about. We're not talking about talk Jedi. No, you know? we're not Jedi talking about talk. the original Jedi. We're talk. not talking no. about Alyssa Milano or whatever Who? it is. Oh Jesus! <laughs> she, yeah, she will be doing a panel at the same time <laughs> we are, and then Don Bluth right next to us. So I might. Don yeah. Bluth is pretty pretty. Brad's awesome. gonna leave to go to. <laughs> I might. Don Bluth. That's a cool idea for a panel. By the way, that's a really cool idea. Don Bluth is a legend. Hell yeah! I mean, he's kind of a dick, but he's a legend. <laughs> It's a good idea. A dick meaning what he did. He's probably a nice person, but he like left and like took half of the Disney Animation Studio when they were. He kicked them while they were down. Essentially. Oh, sure. Which also, who cares? It's your life. You do your thing. Yeah. yeah. So I get it. I said, take it back, Don Bluth. We'll see you. Uh- <laughs> so we're gonna have lots of great, fun, fun, fun stuff about that. Um, we can't wait. Brad and I were talking. We didn't tell you this, Evan, yet, Evan, but. On that Saturday, we're looking to do an actual live podcast of Ooh, yeah, Jedi of Talk from of MegaCon. So if you're there, and swing by. We'll let you know where we're going to set up shop. Maybe it's right outside. I think I have an idea, a good idea. Where okay. For, if, if, it's, if it's set up like last is year. Is this so. the Orlando Convention Center? It is, right? Mm-hmm. Or yeah, the sweet. Orange County. Orange County yeah. Convention Center. Mm-hmm. Yep. The big ass Hell one. yeah. We're walking because parking, I'm not, I'm, I can't. I'm you, not, you can I'm definitely not walk. That. I'm not paying that. No way. So if you all want to park at our place and walk, that's feel free. The, but that's the plan for me. Yeah. Feel free. You're going to walk too? Mm-hmm. I might. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. I'm not uh, paying that Courtney much dropped money. me off last year. Depends on how hot it is. I don't want to get there and be all sweaty because it's hot already in there. I'm already packing like three different shirts. I'm not dressing up or anything, but I'm packing shirts because I'm going to be gross. Like, I Why think are you for not the, dressing up? For the Avant like Riley's Varick thing, I'm probably going to, but okay. the other days I'm not. I was like, that's like your thing, man. Yeah. Sometimes. My costumes aren't like up to par. 
So like I'd rather yes, just go no, as my, go first as a off, guy. I think you have a misconstrued conception of what conventions are like because there are some people Fair. that go like crazy, and then there's yeah. people that there's people that walk around celebration as Max Rubin that was like the Halloween costume from like '87. <laughs> so like nice. It's it's not you can dress yeah. up. Or it's, or it's, there's no yeah. barrier to entry for that. There's just some people that go like way over the top, and there's yeah. some people that wear like a t-shirt. A I Halloween thought about costume. I thought about getting a white t-shirt and jeans and going as Philip J. Fry. <laughs> it works. It totally works. That would be spectacular. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that I already leads... have the red hoodie, so like, it would just there need, you go. I would yeah. just need that. There but you go. That leads to like all my excitement because this is my first convention ever, like attending and hosting. Obviously, Dude, that's so, awesome. Like, I've never been. To, I went to a small, a couple really, really small Lego conventions. I don't really count them as awesome as they were, but like, it was just like the room, maybe the size of like a high school gymnasium. They oh had yeah, no, that's not is, like a convention. Yeah, you know, this like, is a big deal. Yeah, so like my first convention as a guest. That's me. <laughs> and now my first convention as a host, I guess. It's it's wild. That's awesome, it's dude. good practice for celebration because we're going to that too. Tokyo, baby. Well, it is very good practice for celebration. Yeah. yeah. April. Celebration is probably going to be harder to get to. But. I wonder if they're going to approve us again because it's not an English-speaking country. I uh, I thought about that too, and I thought about the tough, the, the struggle it will be to probably get in there, but that's okay. Yeah. Let's. I'm focused on MegaCon. We had a Same. good turnout last time for that one. That celebration. So that's that says something. That room was like almost full. I'm expecting yeah. a great turnout for this. I I've, think so I've, too. I've been posting this everywhere we can, um, and people have been too. seeing it. People have been tagging their friends in it. And, really and, good. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good. Hell I mean, yes. The fellows that I saw at Splitsville were like talking to me about it, like how excited I am and how oh, excited cool. they are. And I was like, wow. I guess it is like a week and a half away. And they're yeah, like, dude. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like we can't wait to see you there. I and I'm like, wow. Okay. Wait. Well, so, yeah. I'm so fucking excited, Megacon? dude. I did not think we were going to get this. Because they've shunned us Ye in the past. Have little faith. faith. I, it's not you. It's Megacon had faith, I no know. faith in. I'm just, now I'm making it personal because I succeeded. So. <laughs> well, they, they were like, hey, we're raising the bar and all the celebrities that we're bringing to meet and greet. We're raising the bar and all the podcasts we're bringing to. But it also explains why we didn't get media because they gave exactly. us this. Yeah. So that Which makes is, sense. I'm I would rather do this. Because yeah. you guys got, I'm the sucker who paid for the ultimate package. You guys got a four well, day pass I, basically for nothing. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I still bought a one day ticket. So yeah, but you're saving bucks back, a lot of money. I'd like to. So we'll see. What day do you have a ticket for? Saturday. I might buy it off you. Okay. I don't know That's if it's transferable. It. Does it have your name on it and stuff? Do you have to like register it? They emailed it to me. So I don't know. I'd have to look. Okay. I'm not good with technology. Or all right, anything. we'll take you a look that. at it. Because I know, like, celebration makes idiot. you pre-register. I don't know if all. Oh, yes, do here, that. here you have to pre-register. You do. All right, well. That that badass Batman badge I got, I, I had to sick. register that. I think yeah. it's sick. Thank. Well, cool, man. So let's go ahead and get into the show because well, there's I mean, that. we could we talk got about Mosh too. After we, that, Mosh is gonna be wild. We're Mosh Isley Saturday evening. At Mosh Isley. Are you going? Yeah. Are you going? Um, as long as my dad duties don't pull me down to something just just because it's 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 at night so at night i always gotta that's, say that's your thing that's when you yes. you're, you're on duty at night right i'm on duty from like 2 a.m on so Ooh. it's like Ooh, it's, it's my sleep time so if i'm there please know that tom is sacrificing sleep to be there <laughs> yeah <laughs> give him a high five and give him some ecstasy um, <laughs> exactly in that order yeah uh no, i don't I've know got, i'm probably not gonna i go. can i i, I can I go over to, real quick my, I, the last week of my life really kind of uh it's it's been it's been turned upside down, which is great. Well, but let it's, me, yeah, it's in a good way. Different. Let me let me make you feel a little bit better. Here here are the just a few of the Star Wars names that are going to be there alongside Jedi Talk. They heard Jedi Talk was going to be there, so the following decided all these names. Don't look this up. I guarantee you that this is true. <laughs> well, I mean, it could be true because one of them has a Jedi Talk shirt. They do. Yeah. Do you Soon know how cool be it multiple be? ones? Do you know how fucking cool it would be if Hayden showed up wearing that Jedi Talk t shirt? <laughs> Never in a million years. <laughs> if he somehow if you're like, hey, I remember this ginger fuck gave me this shirt last year at Megacon. I'm gonna wear it. He probably threw it in his closet or it's a he workout. He probably threw shirt. it away. <laughs> Let's or be real. Real. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. He wiped I mean, his ass with it once and threw it away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey. That's that's more that's than he'd ever do with Jedi Talk, <laughs> yeah. so I'm fine with that. I bet you we could get him on. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. You say that, Ooh, but boy. all the stuff that I bet you we could get him on. And, yeah, yeah, but we've always been supportive of Hayden. Yeah, we have. That's what I'm saying. Like you say, you doubt it, but then like look at all the people we have got and other shows have got. Like it's possible. I got Jim Cummings and Bill Farmer on. I'm yeah. trying that that one that that crosses two worlds. I told you about. I'm trying. Um, haven't got yeah. a response yet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying. Oh well, yeah, okay. I know yeah. you're talking about. Yep. Uh, so Danny Trejo is gonna be there. Uh, no kidding, fool! Book of Boba Fett, Machete, and uh, and uh, much other things, much different things. Spy Gids. yeah, that's what he's known for. Book yeah. of Boba Fett, no, yeah, know. that's what he's known for. Spy Great core keeper for Book of Boba Fett. For me, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, Giancarlo Esposito, yeah. Moff Gideon, hell yeah! Ahsoka star Aman Esfandi, R. Ezra Bridger will be there, 
Anthony Daniels, of course, Anthony Daniels. Oh, my. Oh, my. We love it. A C-3PO, obviously. I, I don't know why. I, I don't have to say that, but just in case you didn't know who Anthony Daniels was. Yeah. You don't know who Anthony Daniels is. You listen to Jedi Talk. Yeah. I don't know what's going well, on. Well, hey. It's not droid talk. It's Jedi talk. It's true. That's true. So, yeah. Diane Lee and, Sana- and, and Santo, which is Morgan Elsbeth. Um, I'd love to see her kick some ass. She, I, I guess she like really knows karate. Like, oh, like really? She, is she like yeah. a she actually does a lot of that fighting? Yeah, really. Yeah, oh, with that's the staff badass. and then the sword. That's fucking cool. The blade of thousand. The blade of thousand. Uh, Chewbacca, uh, Junus Sutamo. He was supposed to be on Jedi Talk at one point. I was just going to bring yeah, that up. But yeah. then he, life happened. It was in 2020. COVID. Yeah, it was yeah. COVID related, and he was like not able. He was like, I get it. It happens. Yeah. Yeah. So Ming Na Wen. Maybe we'll maybe we'll meet, maybe we'll uh, mingle with them over there and get him on. We'll Let's win them mingle. over. That'd be I, fun. I, maybe I, we can bookie the Wookie. Bookie the Wookie. <laughs> Try the veal, ladies and gentlemen. Ming Na Wen. Wen. Obviously, Fennec Shan, and she's fucking Mulan. Go, yeah. go get a picture with <laughs> Mulan. She is no Jedi. Ashley Eckstein will be there. Tamara Morrison of Boba Fett fame. And I would love ever. to meet that guy. Alan Tudyk, K2SO. K2SO. And 50,000 other voices. The Joker and Harley Quinn, right? Yep. He's the Joker he, in that. He's, yeah. he's also... Uh, Where's my goddamn electric car, Bruce? Bruce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's also the uh, the dude in Frozen. The... Uh, no, oh. Oh, no, 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 it's, oh, no. It's, it's Wesselton. The Wesselton. Yeah, I forgot. Wesselton. Oh, very Duke cool. Wesselton. That's him. Duke Wesselton. Yeah, that's right. D. Bradley Baker will be there. Uh, Matt Lanter is going to be there too. I believe I saw um, artists, James Charles Arnold Soul's Taylor going to be there. Who was that? Charles Soul. Yeah, yeah Charles Soul is going to be there. Authors. I might yeah. have to go get a freaking autograph on one of my like. No. Hayden Christensen will be there again. Gina Carano is that mega. I'm surprised you didn't drop everything and run to her. Like I'm, I'm very shocked that I'm not getting a picture with her. Yeah, I'm well, very. It's surprised. hard because he got Cameron. In yeah, there too. I was like, just about to get to Cameron, Cameron. Monaghan. Cal Kess is going to be there. Would you I'm rather? Fi- I'm picking Cal. Over I would have dis- I would have really? disowned him yeah. if he didn't go see Cameron. Yes. I would have been like Tom. You're not my friend. Come anymore. on, man. Like, I love Cara Dune, and I'm a big Gina Carano supporter. When, from the see, point of let her, more, let her just talk and see, stop I thought, I thought you were more of a fan, less uh, more than a supporter. You know what I'm saying? Like I thought oh. you like really liked her from like fighting and stuff. No, 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 okay. no, no. I she the first the first I I didn't know that I was introduced to her in Deadpool until I started like yeah. I checked her mm-hmm. out in Cara Dune. I remember that was like Cara big Dune. news like, oh. when when, uh, when she was fighting. That was like a big. Thing. I yeah. followed MMA like crazy. Oh, yeah, back I don't know day. MMA. Yeah. That was the only thing I, I saw her in was Deadpool, and then I heard she was in Mando, and I'm like, "That's great casting because she was perfect in Deadpool." So, like, she, was she for sure, was she Domino? Is that who that was in Deadpool? I have no idea. Mm, uh, see, I don't remember. I, I I could picture her, but I don't remember. Um, You're asking the wrong guy. Wrong guy. And the other gentleman I'm taking a picture with, Ewan McGregor, yeah, will dude. be there. I'm considering trying to That's get a ticket cool, or whatever man. it is to see James because James is like James Arnold Taylor. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, I feel like he's kind of the one I need to do. Um, I feel, I feel left out over here. I'm <laughs> doing it. I don't know, we'll if, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do we'll anything. We'll see how my paychecks are looking, but we'll see. Who, I, who would you want to? Uh, money not an option from all the people that you heard. Who would you oh. want to go see at MegaCon? By the way, tickets still available. The link to tickets to MegaCon is yeah. in the link in our bio on Instagram, Jedi Talk Podcast on Instagram. It, it's really. It would be really hard to pick between Ewan and Hayden. You could get them both at the same time. I keep forgetting it's a combo there, yeah. Take the combo aside. I might say Esposito. Are you doing a, are you doing a combo? No, no. Oh. No, I, I I said can't do them both at the same time. Oh. And, I, and then I had to put the <laughs> microphone down because of my New Year's resolution. <laughs> Fill in the Whoop. joke there. <laughs> <laughs> Many innuendos uh, can be had. Yeah. <laughs> Many. I, I would, if I had to pick one, I think I'm probably picking... Shit, uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm go. I'm gonna get, go Ewan because I just, Ewan McGregor because I just fucking love the, that version of Obi Wan. To me, that and is Christopher Obi-Wan. Robin. You yeah, too. I, I never saw Christopher Robin. Oh man, it's I know. Good. It's oh, for me good. too. He's Black Mask in Birds of Prey, so yeah. he is a DC oh, there you extended go. universe. Character. He's got the villain. trifecta for you: Star Wars, Disney, and uh, DC. Sure, he does. Yeah, yeah. I should be like everyone's here to see you as Obi Wan, but I loved you as Black Mask. <laughs> yeah. Please come to our panel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come to our not Star Wars panel. Yeah. Ooh. The hidden secrets of the DCE. Do you yeah. think they like hate this? 
No, if they hated it, they wouldn't come to it. Gina yeah. Carano, actually, she just started doing them, and she was posting. She shared some pictures. She's like, this is a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Really? And she's I like, this, this is awesome. She's like pleasantly surprised I mean, I'm sure it. you have that. Uh, Fans are cool. Like, the people that are willing to do this yeah. kind of thing are usually... They're either really cool or they're fucking weirdos. That's what I'm yeah. saying. You have this small percentage <laughs> that's wild, but then you have like a whole day of people just praising you and saying you're awesome. And yeah. You're like, I love I, you I wouldn't too. be able you're to awesome. handle that. I would not like that I really, th- I really <laughs> think you should complete the Jedi Talk trifecta and at least get a signature. I'm considering it. I or still don't know if you're going to. But depends on how paychecks are looking. <sighs> it's going to depend on how my week goes. I'll just say that. Okay. I think... For me, worst case scenario is, and I, I say this not like it would suck to do it, but like worst case is money's not the best, so I can't really do it. Is I get Charles Soul to sign some higher public stuff. Sure. That's my worst case scenario. Best yeah. case would probably be Esposito. That would be that. That would be cool. That See, I love cool. I love Breaking Bad so much. I would not be talking to him about Star Wars at all. I'd talk to him about Community. That's what I would do. Uh, they usher you through the, the great, pictures quick, he's the, so don't expect yeah, to talk about the pictures. I would just be yeah. like, you are the greatest villain in the fucking history of television. He's yeah. number one. There's not a fucking close second. In television history? The giant chicken? That's a fucking close second. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mr. I'm, Burns? Yeah, but he's like a laughable, haha, kind of like yeah. making fun of like a caricature of a villain. Yeah. He's, he is, have you all, both, have you ever watched Breaking Bad? No. No, but I'm with bro, you though. But like, I've heard know, everyone agrees wild. with you. He's I know amazing. how bad of a like a it's bad crazy. dude he is. Yeah. I'm just trying to think and then of how, like how it ends. Ones. Jesus Christ! That's what that that image. I might think about that image on my deathbed. Like when I think of the show Breaking Bad, that image is what I think of. Okay, that's my all, Breaking Bad is my all time favorite television show, followed by How I Met Your Mother. Ooh, okay, Kyle. I'd love to do a top it's a great show. 10. See, I, I didn't say anything. I'd love to do a top ten like. Like sitcoms, I've only seen like three, so I could say my top three, and that's it. What are your top three? Community, Seinfeld, Parks and Rec. See, see, he likes Seinfeld just as much as I do. Bit Killer Bradley over there. I've seen parts of The Office, so I'll count The Office as four. Trash. I'll throw it up there. But that's the only. Office isn't trash. We're all, all convinced it's funny. I don't know what meeting you guys had to like. Let's, well, let's why, just all agree. This says, it says the same guy favorite. who like doesn't want to give a score on Andor anymore because because he, he, like you want to give it the full college try and you haven't given the Office or Seinfeld I've watched college a, try. I've watched a ton of the. I feel like comedy's different because like there's just like it's just not my style of comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. I don't like the like. I, it's cringy he's, sometimes. He said it was, <laughs> but it's milk. And then they look in the camera and like. <laughs> when the hell did they ever make that ha- joke? I hate I, whatever it is. You know the the setup thing I'm talking about. It's just so. Or they un- say something and then they just turn it's and look at the camera. It's painfully unfunny to me. <laughs> like that's the shit you would do as like a reaction YouTuber. All right, hold up. <laughs> Not a fucking they were the TV OG, show. The OG reaction YouTubers. It's so corny. There was w- one episode surrounded. How for 10 years, Michael Scott dodged the fact that he promised a group of young Af- African-American kids this that he would bit. pay for college for them because he thought he'd be a millionaire by the time he reached like 40. So then he, he had to show up and eat crow in front of these kids. <laughs> like so that, that's some it's, a lot of people call that cringy, but that's like some gold TV. It's yeah. funny. Yeah. The, the, I, I, the I office agree. has many more moments like that. Yeah, uh, that's damn. that's fine. Rain Wilson's gonna be at MegaCon. I, Fucking Dwight Schrute. I there think I, I think I'm like the only person that loves that movie that he did with the t- with uh, Emma Stone. That was like the Rock movie. I forget the name of the movie. Rockstar. You love it so much, but you forget. No, I don't know. I, I remember watching I didn't know it. It existed. I watched it like six times. I I, re- I watched it when I worked at a movie theater because I saw every single movie. And I remember really liking that movie. I'd go see him for that. <laughs> the only person that brings that movie I up. wonder how often that happens for all these people, Star Wars celebrities and Doing everything, where, shit. They like, yeah. where they're like, Hayden, Dude, I loved you we, in that Hanes commercial from 1994. <laughs> where they're like, Hayden, I loved you in Life as a House. Like, <laughs> uh, yes, that I was know Ethan that Whitaker, you, you were, dick. You meet, you meet Drake and you're like, bro, you were great in Degrassi. <laughs> well, that, were you really knows handicapped? Degrassi. Everybody, I bet that's the Bro, you can walk? <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> If That's, I ever saw Drake in person, I'd be like, it's a fucking Holy miracle. Shit, He's dude, walking. How, how did, what, what happened? You can walk? Yeah. <laughs> That's what money does, man. It fixes yeah. all those problems. Fucking guy still in Canada, isn't he? Well, Drake doesn't, fix, doesn't fix all your problems. Doesn't fix that. Views from the six, baby. What was that? Views from, from the six. six with That's, my woes. Oh, oh. Uh, Evan, we've got some uh, updates about the meetup. 
<laughs> yeah, we do. Sorry, not sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm Drake. The I'm gonna say the first order is not the worst order, but they are the fullest <laughs> order. Well, no, you're not the fullest. You, you want to talk about who got full first? I didn't. I, I just meant. The, the cause Jack. isn't called the. There's Tom no order. is starting a cult, ladies there's and gentlemen. There's no order. The cause doesn't have the word order in it. I was just saying the fullest order is all now right, the first order. Right, right, go on. Because we're finally place. fully booked. I can say that. Uh, I think it's the close. resistance it's is fully booked. Resistances, causes. I think causes, fir- first so. order might have a spot or two. Look, yeah, if you reach out, we're not going to. I mean, unless a billion people reach out, we're probably not going to turn you away at this moment because I think we do have one or two additional spots. But I'll turn you away. For all intents and purposes, we are pretty much fully booked, and we have about a month until our first of a, its kind immersive story-driven meetup. Almost a month. We're going to talk about it a little yes. bit at our panel at MegaCon. Yes. I, I can't stress enough. Come to the panel. It's going to be fucking awesome. And it's going to be February yeah. 2nd at 2.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in room yeah. W310A at MegaCon Orlando. Tickets still available, Evan. Yep. At the link in our bio at Chai Talk Podcast Get on there Instagram. Early. Get there early. There is not going to be a ton of seats. This thing will sell quick. This will or fill up there quickly. Late. You know, I can't tell you how to live your life. Uh, if you want to come to the panels, <laughs> be there early. I'm telling you this. Even even mine at Celebration, even though it was the first one, people that were yeah. early. And I mean five minutes early because yeah. people were trying to get into the yeah. Obi-Wan panel. That's fine. <laughs> But if you're a loyalist <laughs> of the First Order, you want to show up to Black Spire Outpost here in Orlando, Florida. A little before 6, you should probably show up early, but at the latest 6 p.m. is when our meetup will be starting for the factions that are mostly full. We've made some great strides in the past couple weeks. Huge thanks to Rachel. Without Rachel Ashbrook, this thing doesn't get off the ground. Absolutely. You're just still sitting there saying, how do we do this? What do we do? Do we play capture the flag? What are we doing? <laughs> we had no idea what to do, so she stepped in and saved our asses, and we have this amazing event. Yeah, we're not. We playing. can't wait to put on for all of you amazing people out there. That's right. It's gonna be lit. We got a lot of fun stuff this year, guys. Twenty twenty four is gonna be yeah, man. just the bee's knees. I mean, after March, it kind of dies. But who the fuck says the bee's knees anymore? Me. It's the Why? cat's pajamas. The, the cat's the fuck back, dog. That's what I do. I like. I brought it. back sick with hey. it. I'm bringing back the bee's knees. I like well, the cut off, of your jib. Just take up. <laughs> Evan, jump in front of a fucking truck, <laughs> Brad. Damn. So it's it, first Why? off, be, stick with it. Bees knees had to be relevant to begin with for you to bring it back. Hey man, it it never goes out of style. <laughs> don't listen to him. Hey, don't be mad because I'm fucking sick with it. He streets sort of, ahead sort of for all you community fans it's out there. Gonna, streets ahead. Send a text to Holly. Get the kids out of the house. I'm gonna burn it down. This is a, this is a bit that Chevy Chase does in Community, where he tries to coin phrases and make them cool. So. I'm that guy. You're the new yeah. Chevy Chase. <laughs> He's a Chevy Chase. Except everyone on this show actually likes you, unlike Community, where they all hated Chevy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I heard he's a douche in person. Yeah, that, I have that's heard what they that. all say. That's I mean, upsetting. Uh, yeah. That is kind of Because I love all of his stuff, like all of his movies, his TV shows, everything. He's Rogan awesome. Rogan talked about this. He said I think it might be CTE from all of the pratfalls and shit that he's had. Oh, wow. Could be. Like that literally. needs to be like looked into. How they had like a whole like Will Smith even did the concussion movie for football. Yeah. You need that for comedians. Oh yeah, like half joking, half not. Like that it, be a thing. for him. I mean, if you if do it like Chris Farley, definitely. Uh, much as he moved around and shit, like yeah, not definitely had it, but like probably could have developed it if it kept going. Oh, for yeah. sure. <sighs> so that's on the meetup. Um, Evan, you want do you want to break up this uh, Star Wars related talk and. Uh, Come back with that segment you started last week. True. So, what do we call in the segment? Do well, we have I, a name? I don't know. I'm not smart enough. If y'all have a good name, send it to us anywhere. Instagram. That's what we're calling it. Yeah, sure. But it's just kind of stupid things that guests do in the park. Stupid questions, stupid comments that I've gotten in my two and a half years of never being late and never calling out to working at Disney. Welcome back to guest encounters of the worst kind. Hey, there you go. And like there we said, go. former. Cast member. Maybe that's our new running bit, too. We just hit former for everything. Former. Former. Allegedly. Yeah. Former. <laughs> so, I'm um, for Sick all of the it. listeners. Yes. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> this segment could become... I'm not the, acknowledging This them. segment could become the bee's knees. I'm not acknowledging you either. All right. Solo show from here <laughs> on. Here are I'll, my top I'll, 10 I'll like to cut Metallica you. Hey, there it is. Cut my solos. Uh, I'm not your buddy friend. For all of our <laughs> listeners out there... <laughs> That are concerned that this isn't going to be Star the Wars. Panels is going to be hosted by me, guys. There's some good Star Wars <laughs> stuff in here from Launch Bay, man. The stuff that happens in that room with Darth Vader is it's wild. We're not getting there today, but I promise there will be some Star Wars stories oh, from tease. this list. The I tease. promise. So the story today is short, sweet, and creepy as all can be. I'm with Woody and Jesse. And Does it involve Kyle? Land. Short, sweet, and creepy. <laughs> 
No. He this didn't man, say gay. This man was oh, much, much, on. much older than Kyle. That's this, current year, Brad. This was a 70- or 80-year-old grandpa in Toy Story Land with Woody and Jesse. Uh-oh. <laughs> Standard meet and greets going on. This guy doesn't want to wait in the 45-minute long line to Woody and Jesse. So he just, like, he decides to stand there and just watch all the interactions and be creepy. He's got Uh-oh. his little granddaughter with him. She's, like, six. Jesse goes back to the toy box. She's got to go check on Bullseye. You know how it is. She comes back out. She comes back out. Creepy old guy turns to his granddaughter, still with a you know a lollipop in her hand. Wee as can be. Wee as can be. He I turns. fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> he, he turns to his granddaughter and goes, straight face, dead serious, goes, that's got to be a different Jesse. The last one had a bigger butt. Oh. And I'm like, What? There's so many levels. Imagine Why checking do you think out Jesse. That? Why do you think that? <laughs> what the fuck? Why dude? do you say that to anybody? Why do you say that to your six year old dr- granddaughter? Like, so many levels to these people. I'm more concerned that he's like looking at Jesse's ass. Like, that too. Oh, so. Yeah, like that's the weirdest. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's our yeah. first problem. These oogling uh, performer, the but yeah. like, cartoon it's not, character. And, it's not, I'm not saying this is okay, but it's not like it's Ariel. Where it's like she's in a she's in a bikini top, like where right. it's something you that, that well, makes that's sense. Still to, not okay, it's but a fuck, like, it's not okay. But like, nah. but it's it's, it's not okay it makes more way. sense than it being a fucking toy. Yeah, a kid's doll. Like, what the fuck are you looking at, dude? Oh, sure. You see oh, yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it makes well, there's multiple she's also levels. A fish, I guess. So I guess that's kind of it's weird creepy too. and bad either way. I'm not, like, like I said, yeah. I'm not okay. Yeah, I'm just saying it sucks. It makes more sense that he's not looking at like tight cowboy girl jeans. Yeah, yeah, on a toy. Weirdo. Okay. Definitely a weirdo. So, <sighs> that's similar on a lot of levels to some of the stuff that are going to be about Darth Vader. So oh, there's some teases oh, Wait a minute. Vader. What yep. the fuck's going on in Darth Vader? <laughs> yeah. Stuff. Grandpa say that uh, that's a bigger bulge? <laughs> <laughs> that's got a bigger lightsaber. That's, a, that's, yeah. a, that's a bigger cod face than the other Vader had on. I think that's a different Vader, if I had to guess. That one Bitty might be joke. black, I, I came, I came to Disney World, and now I'm seeing this. Well, I Grandpa, see- can I get my Mountain Dew? Well, I done seen a different Vader walk out the door. I done seen and one And that's Tomater meeting Darth Vader. <laughs> what? I'm Tomater. That's that Tomater without the toe? Uncle Boobs. Uncle Boobs. Yes. <laughs> that's me, Tomater. Tomater. Get her name. Guys, we had the Bad Batch three season three trailer drop. Yeah, That man. trailer looked dope. Yeah, the dude. Final season of Bad Batch. We're all stupid. We were our group. I wish our group chat would come out from that day. Where I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Who is this? We could just like screen sh- screen record <laughs> oh, it and just put it. Like, yeah. Cut it off at a very specific place. Yeah, you might have to cut it off a few places. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'd have but, to chop up our group chat. But I mean, the season three trailer had so much stuff in it. Like it showed Teth, which is from like the Clone Wars movie. So they're throwing it all the way back. To I've that. never made it through that movie. Like they got have you? Fennec Shan's coming back. Cad Bane's coming back. Palps is in there, voiced by Ian still. We still got Ian McDermott versing okay. it, so that's dope. Do it. And then, of course, we have Crosshair. I think he's coming back. Oh, we can go they showed the, him in the trailer. Yeah, they show him back in right by Omega. Tra- coming back to the back. No, I mean, no, he's with them in the turbo. Tank. Oh, okay. They show uh, the leader guy, Hunter. Hunter. And yeah. Tech, and not Tech, she's, I wish. Crosshair is standing right next to him. Also in the could tank. Be, it also could be a flashback. That's the one problem. Could be. But, I mean, there's an episode <laughs> called, I think it's episode three, called The Return. And I'm like, that's got to be crosshair, right? Could be. Yeah, we've said that about a few things. We're always wrong. Yeah, it, but they could be returning to Batu. Book it. <laughs> <laughs> They've that's never been there. Every Jedi talk return. prediction. Yeah, it's yeah. Batu. Yeah. Thank, hopefully, though, like, that's yeah, coming to Young point. Jedi Adventures also in February. Nice Allegedly. Allegedly. At this point, I hope but. it does it just to piss you off. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even bat an eye at this point. I'd be like, yeah, they lied again. It's fine. Is this the end of Young Jedi Adventures? No, I, I doubt don't it. think so. Kids shows you could bleed dry. Yeah. Yeah, Bluey's got like ninety-seven seasons. Yeah, sure, yeah. but I, I like I like Bluey. I you love ever Bluey. watched it? Yeah, I love Bluey. I, I haven't it's watched a good it yet. Show it, man, you're gonna Lily's not another, you know, another ready Toy Story. For, whatever she wouldn't understand. Yeah, another what, Toy Story Land thing is that's on in the break room. Bluey is in Bluey? Toy Story Land all day, every day. That's I all love, they watch I in Toy Story Bluey. Land. It's a good kid show, man. It's one of those where it's like grown-up show too. It's fun. It's a good show. Okay, good. Welcome back to Bluey say. Talk. Yeah, Bluey Talk. <laughs> yeah, uh, Bluey Talk. Yeah. Yeah, I like Blue, the cut of your Blue Chewy there Talk. <laughs> it's sponsored Chewy by talk. Blue Chew. Sponsored by Blue Yo, Chew. Yo, that's a different mom than Bluey's mom's ass. Right. She's fucking nice. <laughs> <laughs> if Young Jedi Adventures does go to Betu and they don't go see Adi Zunzi and the High Republic Temple from the VR game, then what are we doing? 
Like that's got to be the reason to go. It's yeah, the higher public temple. Pissed off at that, right? Like that. I still wish they would make that. The they would Jedi never Adventures make that. wouldn't not go to the higher public True. temple. True. So I agree. Yeah, but Bad Batch Man, and like we said earlier, we're talking about the group chat of confusion of Asajj Ventress. Confusion. <laughs> were you confused as I was? Well, I, no, I, I, I just, my brain was just like flashback. Let's talk this through because my impression was that she died by the yeah. time the show yeah. takes place. Yes, yep. she did. Tuku so killed she's her. Yep. alive still, and flashback. now it's a flashback. It's you think? No, they they even Star Wars came out and said it's immediately. From, it's immediately yeah. it's it's from that the novel. I was the no, Dark Disciple. No, that's not what they said. They said this is not gonna make retcon that retcon thing. and make it Dark not. Disciple. Oh, yeah. Okay, they said yeah, we're yeah. still honoring that that still exists. This okay, new so story so with her is gonna still honor that. So okay, yeah. so it's a flashback. Okay. Yep. I was like reading these while I was working, so I wasn't fully developed like. Diving into what we were talking about, but that makes sense yeah. because that was confusing. Because I read that book and I remember being like, when I saw I, that, I was like, "What the?" I fuck? need to read it, but I know the story, and that's a dope story. It's a good story. Like Quinlan and Quinlan's her awesome. meet each other, He's and got then, a like, paperback somewhere. Dooku's trying to kill Quinlan, oh, and she saves it. Quinlan by jumping in front of Dooku. I wish he's another character they should do more with. Yeah, he's dude. a cool character. Oh, they mentioned him in Kenobi, and then never he, went back. I know. To what if what he's a fucking in bummer? The new Star Wars Jedi video game series that we think is going to be called Jedi Master. He, he very well what could if he's be. in that? He's part of the path. And then, yeah. and then Cal. Uh-huh. That would be like, sweet. I hope that that's what you do in this new one is, is helping people with the path. Yeah. You that would open up will. a lot of gameplay opportunity. Like people yeah. following you and having to keep track of everybody. Yeah. There's a lot How of cool gameplay you build Kobo. Maybe you you're building the new secret path location. Like that kind of it's idea. Like Je- it's like Star Wars Pikmin. You throw the little fucking younglings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that game. Do you ever play Pikmin? Uh, I think I have. Oh, yeah, it's so fun. I, have I to love go back game. and look it up. Uh, anything else from that trailer? Well, I'm I'm confused so- on like the lightsaber though, because her original it's a sabers. One. Well, her original ones are curved and red, but then the one they sold oh, at Doc Ondar's was, was straight, straight and yellow, which looks right. like malls. But the one in this trailer is curved. That's a good point. So what's going on there? You and know exactly when can what's I going buy on. this new lightsaber that's that you want to sell? That's exactly what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Is that well, on our soundboard? That needs to be on our soundboard. Is, I, know, money. I don't know why that is. He's money. in Star Wars, too. I mean, hey. Clancy Tom, Brown. Yep, Clancy Brown. Mr. Crab. He's in Star Wars multiple times. I'm surprised he's not at Megacon. He's just recently. He's the D- Devorian, that's what they're called, right? Uh, Yes, I and think you're right. And he's the guy on Lothal. The G- governor of Driv- Lothal? Yeah, governor of Lothal. Lothal. Um, yeah. The Chancellor of Lothal. Oh, my God, I know him. Oh, no, Ryder. 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 Yeah. Ryder Azadi. Yep. Ryder Azadi, that's right. Ryder, that's Ryder. on the store. Yeah. Right. If he was at Megacon, I would consider going to see him for SpongeBob and Star oh, Wars. Oh, Clancy like, Brown, 100%. Yeah. I would, I'd go see him 100%. He'd be, yeah. the, he'd be the one I'd go to. I wish Jim Cummings was coming. I mean, he, he might be coming that night, but just not just at Megacon. Megacon. I mean, Hi-o. if your last name you is Cummings, aren't you always characters? Coming? He's like, oh, bother. No, I hope I not, mean, and I... please never say that again. <laughs> I don't like the cut of your jib. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Oh, 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 bother. Anyway, so there's, what, 15 <laughs> episodes in season <laughs> three of Bad Batch? As opposed to, didn't we have 16? What? Six, yeah. Suck my dick. There it is. I think the first two seasons that. had 16 episodes. This one only has 15. Okay. So I don't, that's fine. I don't know what every to last, read into that. So every last season always has less episodes. That's true. I don't know and they're dropping yeah, three. They give up. <laughs> they're like, we're done. They're dropping three episodes on the day that it comes out. Which is the February 21st. 21st, 21st, 21st yeah, February is crazy. And then March, is, March 1st is basically in February. That's when our meetup is. So Are we like, doing our traditional Ogres for our birthday? No. I got to save money for okay. when we go to Ogres for the meetup. So yeah, it's gonna be wild. Did you know that we we're Dude, closing Ogas? We're gonna out have that night? yeah. It's gonna be like everybody. All of us. Everybody what? in our group has reservations. Every single for Ogas human that being that's going it, to our meetup is going. We're to gonna Ogas. be closing like, it out that night. Yeah. Oh shit! It's gonna be like sixty. No, people. I didn't know that. 50, 60 people. Yeah. Dude, I have, I have a res for three. He's got a res for like eight, eight or nine. But I'm people, on Rachel's someone's? got one. Yeah, people okay. in our group too that aren't Rachel, us, like just yeah. the people just coming. Have a bunch of people have it. So I'll be fine. Uh. You should be. <laughs> just okay. turn around. Can I come in with you? Can I come in with you? Yeah. <laughs> like, if like, you're not, not just on the go list, look for yourself to see if you can find one. March uh, 1st. March 1st, the evening of. Yeah. Anytime after 8, because we're hoping to be done around 8. We're getting some timing yeah. things cooked up and done here in the next week or two, hopefully. Whenever I get my tickets, I should be getting park tickets here in the next week. Okay, so good. We'll see. All righty. But yeah, man, Ogas is going to be lit. Ogas is going to be lit. Bad Batch, season 3, and final gonna season is going to be lit. Our panel at MegaCon is going to be lit. That's the 
like name of our episode, I think. It's going to be lit. It's going to be fucking sick with it, bro. It's sick with it. Yeah, we're not naming it sick with it. We already we named, we already named sick episode with it. sick with it. Yeah, we can't do that again. We already named it. Dicks. <laughs> All right, well, if you guys don't have anything else, I think we should say see you at MegaCon, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, dude. We'll see you at MegaCon. Um, the next time you'll hear from us will be post-panel. It'll be a live show from MegaCon. We also plan on recording this. We can just yeah. bring up one of the Zooms and hit, put it in the sure. middle and yeah. record yeah. straight into it. Maybe I can put mine by me, you by yours. And we'll kind of get both audio. I have three, actually. We can do well, it from Evan, too. Yeah, we'll have three. we have three recorders. We, have we can put one by Evan. Nice. If you want to. I don't know why you'd put want to. Put one by his anus. There you go. We get a fart because, mic? Yeah. Uh, yeah just oh, be Come to MegaCon 2024 time. for the fart mics. But yeah. stay this, for the Alyssa Milano. This is a much shorter episode than Jedi Talk. Than normal, it's only 35 minutes. However, we did like a lot of work beforehand on the panel. Well, we want everybody to get excited about the panel. So, you know, tired of looking at this fucking we dumb, stupid... about the panel. <laughs> yeah, I got to find a dining reservation. Close to show up. That too. Right. And there is no other news <laughs> except Bad Batch and us, man, Megacon and the meetup. That's the That's week. Right. Well, Brad's looking for a reservation, so I will say thanks. <gasps> oh, every- I'm going there instead. Oh, Hannah, no. <laughs> uh, where, oh, he's going to Ohana. Yeah, that's fine. Brad's you know gonna be car, uh, tear down his stitch. I, you know, him and Stitch are gonna be like yeah. spooning in the corner, eating some noodles. Eating some noodles. I like noodles. Those are good ass noodles. noodles I great. can get a nine ten p.m. There you go. That checks out. Take Everyone it. else I've seen is like eight forty five, nine o'clock. Oh, like I'm all I'm, I'm nine fifty five. I'm like late as hell. Oh, you might have to sneak in with someone else. Oh, that's fine. I'll get it. I'm in. I got the latest one. Nine ten. All right. Noise. I got right. it for four. So there you go. Well, then, no, no one's invited. It's for me and my kids. Then Finally. you can. All right, close everyone. It out. Thank you for listening to Jedi Talk. We will see you on the next one. Until then, stay safe. May the force be with you. Always. And to buoy day. Rise, Jedi Knight. Fear the murder chicken. I thought it was going to be the suck, <laughs> No, fear the murder chicken. I thought it was going to be something for the cop.